we always tell our sacred stories. And something that I thought was just so interesting is you wrote in your sacred story that as you've evolved with the infinity wave, there have been many moments that have challenged your definition of reality. And you promised to share one or two of those with us. Can you can you share a little of your sacred story with the infinity wave for us, please? Sure. Um, well, one of the situations that, that made me understand that reality was not as fixed as it might appear happened when I was with a friend who was about to have surgery and an anesthesiologist came in and uh, she was head down in her clipboard very walled off from my friend, the patient, and uh, of course from me, but I didn't matter. It was really what was important was my friend. And my friend had done a lot of preparation for this rather serious surgery, including uh, self-hypnosis. And one of the teachings from the hypnosis book that she was studying said to write down on a piece of paper what she wished the anesthesiologist to say to her as she was going under and also what she wished to have say as she was coming out. This is basically programming the subconscious mind to withstand the surgery well and to heal more quickly and easily uh, at the end of the surgery. So my friend was clutching her paper with these precious words on it, and it was very, very important to her that she had an anesthesiologist who would go along with this because it wasn't a given. So when this woman came in with her clipboard and stood opposite me and never looked at her patient and had her head down and started speaking medicalese and uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it really made my friend get a little nervous and untethered, and I could see that beginning to happen. Now, this anesthesiologist had on a very unusual surgical cap, and I noted it. Uh, and as I'm looking at my friend and seeing this anesthesiologist, I thought, you know, I don't really like this picture. I want a different one. And out of me came a forceful infinity wave right out of my solar plexus. And as this was happening, I spoke the words with a very flat tone, I like your hat, just like that. Well, in a nanosecond, the anesthesiologist's head popped up, swung to my friend, big smile on her face. She says, hi, how you doing, babe? Are you ready to have surgery today? I'm going to take such good care of you. Oh, what do you have for me? It looks like a recipe. It's so beautiful. Oh, you want me to say this when you go under, when you come out? I love to do that. And basically, she went from being frozen in a wall of, like in an ice cube, to being this warm, sunny, welcoming human being. And it happened in the blink of an eye. And I believe when the, the force of this infinity wave came out of me to her, uh, she got bathed in the love and compassion that is inherent in the infinity wave. Poor woman, she probably needed it so much, and she just soaked it up and rose to her highest self in a second, in less than a second. It was so fast. Both my friend and I had jaws hanging on the floor at this transformation. We didn't get a chance to talk about it until well after surgery, but when we did, you know, we compared notes, and, and sure enough, we had experienced the exact same transformation in this woman. The only piece that my friend didn't know was that this wave blast had come at the uh, anesthesiologist. So how did this shake my sense of reality? Well, I realized that, you know, uh, what we think is fixed, a situation that looks to all the world as being set and that we cannot affect it, uh, that just isn't the case. When we send love and compassion to a human being, whether they're right in front of us or all the way around the world, because we live in a quantum world, 
the effects of that are felt and does change reality. The reality was one way one second and another way the next second. And so that was a big lesson to me in, in the impact that a seemingly gentle, uh, until that time the infinity wave seemed very gentle to me, um, I learned in that moment about the power of it uh, and the impact it could have. 